Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing absolutely fine. So today we'll be continuing with our FMT exam revision series with our next topic, Worksmen's Compensation Act 1923. The act provides for the payments to certain classes of employees of compensation for death or injury caused during employment or for occupational disease. The amount depends upon the age of the victim, whether dead or disabled, if disabled, whether disability is temporary or permanent, whether disability is total or partial, if partial, the percentage. In case of partial dis disablement, the quantum of compensation depends upon the percentage of the loss of earning capacity, that is percentage loss of function, that is per percentage disability, permanent of that part caused by the injury in question. Under the Act, provision is made for disabilities suffered as a result of industrial accidents or occupational disease, while in service provided the worker himself was not responsible for the injury or neg was negligent. Medical practitioners who may be called to deal with such worksmen should have a clear understanding of the provisions relating to this Act. They are required to certify relating to fitness or unfitness for work. They have to be, they have to give an opinion and evidence upon which depends the decision as to whether an injury that the worksman is suffering from is the result of the accident while at work. They are required to certify the extent of disability of workmen arising from accidents or industrial disease. The payment of compensation to the injured workmen is largely determined from such certificates. Thank you.